guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and today I want to share with you a really quick um, episode, uh, recipe uh, that you can use for leftovers anything, whether it's braised brisket or like chicken that's been braised for a long time, like a cacciatore or something like that. I'm using my leftover short ribs, and the reason why I'm sharing with you this recipe is because oftentimes, specifically when I make short ribs, I never have enough so that I can serve a, a short ribs again the next day, and sometimes I kind of don't feel like just serving short ribs again. But today, I only have like one and a half pieces, which is not enough for my husband and I to have a piece each. So this is the answer. Bring a large pot of water to a boil with some salt. Add in some rigatoni. You can use rigatoni, penne, uh, pappardelle would be great for this, tagliatelle. I'm using rigatoni. Whatever you'd like is perfect. Now what I have here is a little bit of the sauce with the vegetables that was left over. I just reserve it. I don't like to throw away anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to puree this with my immersion blender until it's really nice and smooth. Okay. Now that you have that pureed, I also have a little bit of every cream, some parmigiano, and I also wanted to mention that you are going to need to cook the pasta for about two minutes shorter than you normally would. Uh, so if the package says nine minutes, only they cook for about seven minutes or so. In the meantime, I'm going to take my short ribs, I'm going to discard the fat because there is a lot of fat that comes from short ribs as we all know. So get the fat, put it aside, and then all I'm going to do is take the meat and I'm going to shred it with my fingers. Now this is cold, so it's a little bit um, harder to do, but if this was really warm you can heat it up in the microwave a little bit, but you don't have to. It's a lot easier to do. So just go ahead and shred it with your fingers until it's all done. To my drained pasta, I'm going to add in the sauce that we pureed, along with just a touch of cream. Not a lot, but a little bit. Makes it really nice and creamy. I'm going to add in my shredded meat. I'm just going to let this cook for about two minutes. Just want to reheat everything up really, really nicely. In the meantime, I'm going to grab some herbs, bar of basil and parsley. I'm going to chop them up. Oh, it smells so good, and then we're going to add in some parmigiano, some fresh herbs, it's going to be delicious. Add in my fresh chopped herbs, and then I'm going to add in some good, a good grating of parmigiano, huh? You can't have a pasta without a good grating of parmigiano. Well, I can't anyway. And if there's any justice in this world, you can't either. Give this a really good stir. This makes a perfect supper for two with a side salad. Oh, it's delicious. It's easy. You're using leftovers, but you're giving them a new identity. Just gonna serve myself a little bit so that you can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, look at that gorgeousness. Let's give this a bite. I'm gonna take a piece of the beef, some pasta. This is going to be, if I'm, I, all I'm doing right now is smelling this. Mmm. It is so, so good. It's got such a slow cooked taste to it, which it really is slow cooked because all the work happened yesterday in the oven when you braise these for a really long time, and it pays off today. And That took what? nine minutes and the time it took for you to add the pasta in, everything else was pretty much ready. And you can apply this to any leftover meat that you have. Just add a little cream, a little bit of cheese, some fresh herbs. Pasta will be your best bet to use this kind of stuff with. Go to laurainthekitchen.com if you want the written recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.